Have you ever wanted to play Halo Reach Firefight except it's Lost Planet 2? Let me introduce you to what many gamers are calling Deep Rock Galactic except it's Starship Troopers. Basically Ender's Game but in Destiny 2. It's No Man's Sky meets Warframe. Okay, now that you have four analogies to comprehend everything this game is, except add a hint of Iron Brigade, let's dive right into the meat of this third person grid defense lookalike. You are a Helldiver of Super Earth. There are aliens in your solar system and by damn if Super Earth is gonna let that slide. You will go to alien planets and complete various objectives to help Super Earth kill all the Xenos. In this case, Archies and Clankers. For now. Like StarCraft 2, but you're playing Doom. Outside of just Call of Duty run and gunning the fascist, you have the unique access to stratagems, which are four selectable abilities you have in game that summon various things from your ship, such as ammo, powerful weapons, and nuclear blast. You also have ship modifications that slightly buff various elements of these stratagems. Basically, Planet of the Apes, but with like a hint of Bugs Life. This game has like seven currencies to be as confusing as possible. You get medals and requisition slips for completing missions, medals by battle pass items and requisition slips by stratagems. You get samples within the matches if you extract with them. They buy the ship upgrades that slightly buff various stratagems. You also have super credits. You earn these in the battle pass, finding in-game vaults and special loot containers, or you can just buy them. They buy exclusive items in the rotating Fortnite shop. So how it goes is you're an ODST, but instead of robots, aliens, and a hive mind entity, you fight... Oh, shit. The game has sectors and planets that have health bars of sorts. They can be conquered by any of the factions or liberated by Super Earth. I'm not sure if multiple factions can hold a single sector or planet, however, I'm very hopeful we'll find out. The developers, or some entity potentially named Joel, vary the conditions of warfare to incentivize lore and repay value as the game operates on a user-derived plot that actually influences the game long term. So it's, it's like satisfactory, but in Warhammer 40k. I believe it's entirely possible to liberate the galaxy, in which case the game will reset with new conditions. As a live service lore driven game, it has pretty much infinite possibilities for new content and engaging design. Helldivers 1 received around 3 years of active support with a few thousand players decaying over that period. Meanwhile, Helldivers 2 started with almost half a million concurrent players daily. It's, it's just the Viva Pinata of Toontown when you really think about it. In summary, I love Helldivers 2 more than any game released in the last seven years, and it's not even remotely close, and it's cheaper than a great deal of them. The Super Citizen DLC gives you unique armor. The stats, however, are not unique and are obtainable by any free-to-play user. It also gives you the premium battle pass, which is three pages of okay items that'll cost you a small loan of a million metals to grind out. In short, I love this approach. I'm not much for the concept of a battle pass, however I do respect alternatives like in-game discoverables and achievables or a shop just aren't meta anymore and this system is an insane upgrade over failed attempts like Halo Infinite's monetization nightmare. Dark Souls, but I'm in a domestic dispute with my wife over the kids. Let me tell you something. I'm from Buenos Aires, and I say kill them all! Yeah! Yeah!